there today? Sergeant Janine here, going to lead you through a time of singing to God and a story as well as a memory verse. Today we're going to have a great time. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! It's going to be a ball. Woo -hoo! Hey kids, welcome to our online kids service today. It's great to have you with us. Uh, this week we're picking up from where we left off last week and we're speaking about the appearance of Jesus after he risen from the dead. Uh, the first story that we're going to talk about today is when he appeared to two disciples after all, all the disciples had separated and dispersed across the land. Two disciples were walking on the road to Emmaus. They, they um, trekked forth, they were walking, they were walking um, and all of a sudden Jesus had appeared to them but in a different form, a different appearance. So they were they were blinded to him. They didn't recognize who he was. And as they kept on walking forth, the two disciples were walking and talking about all the stories about the Messiah and about Jesus and how they had 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 heard the story of the two women who had seen the empty grave and they were speaking down about him because they had lowered him from the Messiah to the to a prophet. They didn't recognize him and they they started not believing because Jesus had died. 
They didn't recognize that Jesus had died, so they stopped believing in that story, in the story of Jesus being the Messiah, so they had lowered him to the prophet. They didn't recognize him. So they kept on trekking forth um, on the road to Emmaus, and Jesus started telling them the stories of the scripture and the miracles that he had performed in the scriptures, but they, they still didn't believe in him. They still didn't recognize him. So as they kept on walking, the, the um, sun started to go down and it started to darken. So they, they ended up getting to Emmaus late at night and, and they chose to have a meal. So then when they sat down to have a meal, Jesus then picked up a piece of bread and, and broke it. And as he broke the bread, the two disciples were um, the two disciples opened their eyes and realized that it was Jesus. They realized they their eyes were open to the fact that they had been walking with Jesus this whole time and they, and they didn't recognize him. And their hearts burned and they, were, they felt disgrace and, and I'm sorry for the fact that they did not recognize Jesus. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Jesus had vanished. He disappeared completely. He vanished. And they were left there sitting, having dinner by themselves. After Jesus had disappeared, the two disciples kept on venturing forth to the other disciples where they started telling them about how they had just walked with Jesus. But the disciples didn't believe them. They thought they were, they were talking about a ghost. They thought that Jesus was just a ghost and they weren't real. And then all of a sudden they, they um, ran and tried to hide from the Jews because the Jews were trying to prosecute them, trying to kill them. So they hid behind closed doors. They locked the door. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, boom, Jesus appeared to them. Out of nowhere, Jesus appeared to them, and he he was showing them his hands, trying to get them to um to believe that it was him. They got him to touch him, they got him to touch him, so they would see that he wasn't a ghost. And then he ate a fish to prove to them that he wasn't a ghost. He he ate the fish, and then he, he ate the fish to prove to them that he wasn't a ghost. And then he he breathed the Holy Spirit onto them. He, he breathed the breath of the Holy Spirit onto them and then disappeared. And then they rejoiced. The disciple Thomas wasn't there when Jesus had appeared to the other disciples. So Thomas had said, unless I put my fingers in the holes of Jesus' hands, then I will not believe. Then after he said this, eight days, eight days had passed. And um, after Thomas had said this, eight days. And then... When the disciples were all together, inside again, they were all together, Jesus appeared again. Boom! And he said to Thomas, he, he went straight to Thomas and he said, put your fingers in my holes. And then Thomas did that and said, Lord, I have seen and now I believe. <laughs> Jesus said to them, said to Thomas and said to all of the disciples, blessed are those who don't see yet believe. So kids, we are, we are blessed because we, we cannot see Jesus physically. I mean, some people have seen Jesus physically, but we, we cannot see him physically, but yet we still believe. So we are blessed. And then after that, Jesus disappeared again. Once again, Jesus had appeared to all of the disciples up on a mountain and he gave them the great commission. Now, Jesus said to them, he said, all authority is given to me. Go make disciples of all nations, of all nations around the world. Everyone, all around the world, go make disciples of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teaching them, <laughs> teaching them that he is with us always. He who believes and is baptized is saved. And he who disbelieves, it will be condemned. These signs will follow. Belief, cast out demons, new tongues, pick up serpents, drink deadly poison. Now this represents the bad things that happen in our lives and Jesus being with us through those times. Lay hands on the sick and the healed. The next story we're going to be talking about is when Peter was with a small group of, dis of the disciples and they all decided to go out fishing. So they all grabbed their fishing rods. They went out fishing on a boat. All night they were fishing. All night they were fishing, they were out trying to catch fish. They didn't catch anything the whole night. They didn't catch any fish at all. Um, they, sorry. they didn't catch any fish at all. And then when the sun started to come up, it was morning. They um, saw a man, a, a, a man out on the beach. They didn't recognize him. They didn't recognize him, but 
that man was Jesus, but they still didn't recognize who that man was. And the man called out to them. Jesus called out to them and said, cast your net on the other side of the boat. So they did that and they, and they pulled it up and it was full of fish, full of 153 fish. And they realized that is only an act of God. So Peter, realizing that it was Jesus on the shore that just yelled out to them, jumped out of the boat and started swimming, started swimming to the shore to see Jesus and to talk to Jesus. He um, gets there and Jesus has bread and fish and he asked Peter to come and have breakfast with him, to grab his fish. And then Peter ran back to shore and grabbed his net full of the 153 fish, but the net wasn't broken. The net still remained in one piece. He grabbed his fish and he went and sat down and had breakfast with Jesus. After they had breakfast, he asked Peter, do you love me? Three times Jesus asked this, do you love me? And Peter said, yes, I do, Jesus. Yes, I do. Three times. And he said, well, well, Peter, tend to my lamb. Tend to my sheep. Look after my sheep for me. Jesus knew that Peter was denying him three times. He replaced it with three confessions of love for him. And then after that, Jesus vanished. After this, Jesus appeared for 40 days to over 500 people, sometimes one person, sometimes 500 people at the same time. So he was in multiple places, appearing to multiple people at the same time over this 40-day period after he appeared to Peter and had breakfast with Peter. Let's pray. Thank you, God, that you appeared and you showed yourself to us, that we can walk the earth and disciple to your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, kids, so as you can see, there's nothing on this piece of paper. But I think if we iron it, I think something might just show up. So see, I'm ironing it. I'm ironing it. I'm ironing it. As you can see, the words, our memory verse for this week, Mark 16, 14, has appeared on the paper, just like Jesus appeared to the disciples all those many times. So, today's memory verse, Mark 16, 14. Afterwards, Jesus appeared to his 11 disciples as they were eating. He scolded them because they were too stubborn to believe the ones who had seen him after he had risen to life. Isn't that a great miracle? Awesome. Thanks, kids.